St. Patrick's Day is nearly here, and I'm going to share with you 10 fun facts about St. Patrick's Day. And as a Celtic musician and host of the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast, I thought I'd also pick songs that you can listen to to go with each fact, and I'll have links to listen in the show notes. But first, some news. If you missed the latest Celt Father Live internet concert of shiny St. Patrick's Day CD release party music, you can watch a free replay through March 17th at keltfather.com forward slash watch. The show celebrates the release of my new album of brown coat drinking songs called As Long As I'm Flying, plus some fun St. Patrick's Day songs. You can sing along to many of these songs using the lyrics at irishsonglyrics.com, irish-song-lyrics.com. I have two extra long episodes of St. Patrick's Day music on the Irish and Celtic Music podcast. The first came out last week and features the best Celtic songs in the podcast in 2017. The second is out this Thursday. It will feature 17 songs for St. Patrick's Day. And as a special bonus, you will be able to download all 17 songs as MP3s. I'll include a link to that article in the show notes. I have published my 17 free Celtic MP3s for St. Patrick's Day article since 2003. Now, millions of people around the world celebrate St. Patrick's Day. You could say everyone is Irish on St. Patrick's Day, but I prefer to see this as a holiday for everyone of Celtic ancestry. I don't know how many kilts I've seen worn on the holiday, but it's a lot, not including my own. (laughs) I think that's a good place to start with these fun facts. Number one, Ireland is one of seven Celtic nations. These are the places that the Celts settled after invading their way from Central Europe before finally being conquered by the Romans and driven to the fringes of the continent. The nations include Ireland, Scotland, Wales, the Isle of Man, Cornwall in southwest England, Brittany in France, and Galicia in northwest Spain. While the Celts settled in these locations, they were eventually pushed out of their homelands to places around the world. In fact, New Orleans was one of the top three immigration points for the Irish during the potato blight of the 1800s. So I'm going to kick off my musical recommendation with Men of New Basin Canal that honors the 30,000 Irishmen who died digging that canal. This is from my album, How America Saved Irish Music. Number two, St. Patrick was not Irish. He was born in Scotland or Wales, different accounts, in the 4th century. Originally, he was enslaved and taken to Ireland. He escaped, became a Christian, went back to convert the Celts, and he died in Ireland on March 17th, 461. I was born on St. Patrick's Day, and I have a song for all those born on March 17th or of Irish heritage. It's called Happy Birthday from Ireland. Number three, March 17th is the holy day of St. Patrick in the Catholic Church. Because of this, it was not celebrated like you find it today. In fact, March 17th was a dry holiday in Ireland until the 70s. All the pubs were closed. In 1995, they began celebrating it a little bit more like in America. It's quite ironic that as a sainted holiday, St. Patrick's Day is celebrated with drinking. This my next song recommendation is a song called St. Patrick Never Drank. Number four, the first St. Patrick's Day parade was celebrated in New York in 1762. The Irish were trying to hold on to their heritage. Parades sprang up around the world since then, most notably in Chicago, where the river is dyed green. Dublin, too, now has a big St. Patrick's Day parade. In fact, I got an email from someone saying they were heading to Dublin, right? Right <laughs> for St. Patrick's Day. I want to recommend the song McNamara's Band, sung by Bing Crosby. A great celebration of the Irish and the holiday. Number five, green is most often associated with St. Patrick's Day, but St. Patrick's color was actually blue. And as a wild twist, I was told when I was a kid that the Scots wore orange. It wasn't until later I realized that green was the color of Catholics and orange was the color of Protestants. And of course, the Republic of Ireland is largely Catholic. So from the Brobdingnagian Bards, try the song The Orange and the Green. Number six, St. Paddy's Day is the shortened version of St. Patrick's Day. However, that shortened name is often misspelled. It should be spelled P-A-D-D-Y, not P-A-T-T-Y. Paddy, P-A-T-T-Y, is a girl's name. Paddy, P-A-D-D-Y, is short for the Irish name Padraig, (laughs) P-A-D-R-A-I-G. I know it's confusing, but uh, nevertheless, it's not Paddy, P-A-T-T-Y. It's annoying. So... (laughs) Stop calling it that. It's P-A-D-D-Y. Spell it correctly. All right, good. 
And so for my song recommendation, I suggest the Muckers version of Patty Worked on the Railway. Number seven, the most famous Irish song is Danny Boy, but it's not actually Irish. Okay, the melody is an Irish tune called Derry Air, or London Derry Air. But the lyrics were written by an English lawyer and songwriter named Frederick Weatherly. I get the song request so much that I play two versions of Danny Boy, the original and a parody about cats. <laughs> That's my suggestion for this fact. Number eight. The leprechaun is a fascinating and mischievous creature from Irish lore. The modern representation was actually started as a means to belittle the Irish immigrants in the early 1900s. It was a cartoon. Uh, it seems the Irish Americans embraced and rebirthed the myth. Oh, and apparently there were no female leprechauns in the lore. I wrote a song that celebrates America's contribution to the leprechaun myth and to Irish music. It is called The Leprechaun. Number nine, Slanchava is an Irish toast. It means here's to your good health. In lovely Gaelic fashion, it's spelled nothing like it sounds in English. So if you're out drinking, be it Guinness or tea, raise a glass and repeat the phrase Slanchava. Now I wrote a song about it. It's on the Kilted Kings album, Name on My Soul. The song is called Slanchava. Number 10, more than 13 million pints of Guinness are consumed on St. Patrick's Day. So I hope you will raise a glass also to Charlie Mops, the fictitious inventor of beer. You can learn about him in the song Beer, Beer, Beer. One final bonus fact, the music of the Celts is, is called Celtic music. This is not to be confused with the Boston Celtics. Celtic is spoken with a hard K sound. And of course, I host the Irish and Celtic Music podcast, and you will find over 400 hours of free Celtic music that you can listen to on St. Patrick's Day and share with others. So head on over to CelticMusicPodcast.com and subscribe to the podcast. You can subscribe on Apple Music, Stitcher, Spotify. It's everywhere. So go check it out. And actually, I'd love it if you would post a review over on Apple Podcasts if you get a chance. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed these fun facts. And if you want to listen to the songs, you can search for them on Apple Music. Or you can check out my Geek Pub Songs playlist over on Spotify. I'll have all those songs streaming there. You can also support this podcast for as little as $1 per month when you join the Gunrunners Club on Patreon. You'll get hours of great content for one low fee and help me create new music for you. You can subscribe to the podcast and download free music at keltfather.com. Sláinte.